Here's how to make a tetrahedron. You take I, I make mine out of paper plates. So I, I use I think these are nine inch or nine and a half inch, nine inch I think. Nine inch paper plates in diameter. Basically what you do, take your paper plate, use something flat, try to flatten it out as much as you possibly can. So now you got your flat circle. Then take your circle and you fold it exactly in half. So, match it up, you fold it exactly in half. Now, the next step is you're supposed to divide this into three sections of 60 degrees. The best way to do it, and, you, and my teacher told me not to do it, but I did it anyway because it worked out the best, is use a protractor and measure out 60 degrees from there and there. And then you've got your three sections. And then there's three fold lines. I'm just going to try to eyeball it. Eyeballing it's really hard. But basically you have to try to fold it up into thirds. So you try to eyeball it. And don't fold it really hard. And just kind of, you know, fold it and try to get it close. And then when you got it, you know, exact, you just fold it really good. Increase it with a, you know, hard object. So, anyway, my fold isn't perfect, but it looks very uniform. So, I'll, I'll stick with this. And anyway, basically, after you got it folded out, you're going to want to crease it down. I, uh, rulers or a scrap piece of wood like this work out really nice so that way you can get your crease very nice and it also supports a lot of weight once you get it nice and folded sharp and clean so there's your three sections it's kinda hard to see I'll bend it so there you go that's easier to see but there's three sections there now what you do is you unfold it and you have this kinda radial star pattern there you can see it well what you do it's really complicated but you take two sections, these two, you fold directly to the middle center point. And you fold that over. Then you crease it down, crease it down. And then you do that again with the, uh, the next two. And you want to make sure you have a point on the end, a very sharp, nice point. And it needs to hit the middle. So this is very difficult. And sometimes you need to redo it. So you need to kind of have a point there. And then fold it over. And fold that down and then you do that to the third side. And you need to make sure that both ends are pointed. And it hits very close to the center. It's supposed to be exactly accurate. But that's almost impossible to do. As long as you get it fairly close. Your load bearing structure will be very nice. And now you have a triangle, an equilateral triangle. All sides should be fairly equal, and it should be exactly equal, the same measurements from different angles. So, you get that all smoothed out, and you have a triangle now. Now with your triangle, this plain side is going to be the outside, and this is going to be the inside. What you need to do now is take the top tip, you need to fold it down all the way to the center median, the midpoint of the bottom. And then that'll give you a trapezoid or three triangles. And then you crease that. And then you take another corner, another corner, and fold that down along this side and then fold that corner almost done and then you take the remaining piece this one and you fold that one to the midpoint on the opposite side and you crease that over 
and then you fold up your sides and you tape the edges I'm not going to tape the edges because I have another one that I already did but anyway you should come up with something that's fairly equal and it should be a tetrahedron here's a completed one all taped up and ready to go it isn't that great because I haven't made them in a while but once you make you know 20, 30 you become really good at it and anyway now this is a stage zero I, I explained this in a my um, video that I have before and a stage two or stage one is like three of these and in order to make them like to actually uh, have them um, <coughs> stacked on top of each other you need to have the top corners lined up and each side needs to be the same you need to have so like there'd be one here one here and then there'd be another one here and then there'd be one on the back but anyway that's how you make a uh, a tetrahedron and I will have a picture at the end of this video um, the kind of her instructions and I can email it to you as well if you'd like anyway thank you I hope uh, this video turns out really good and I hope uh, it helps you quite a bit for your uh, for your uh, project anyway um, that's that